Brilliant wrecking? Yes, sir. Uh, there's an old member dropped by, sir. Same handicap as yours. I wondered if you'd rather play with him. Where is he? Uh, Mr. Bond? Yes. This is Mr. Goldfinger. How do you do? How do you do? Uh, you can go straight off. The first tee is clear. Fine. I'll get Hawker to carry for you, Mr. Bond. Well, that'll be splendid. Shall we make it a shilling at home? Mm-hmm. I'll take some tea. Uh, yes. Oh, you must excuse our job, Mr. Bond. He's an admirable man, sir, but mute. It's not a very good caddy. Golf is not yet the national game of Korea, eh? <laughs> Meeting is not a coincidence, eh? What's your game, Mr. Vaughan? My game? You didn't come here to play golf. In 1940 smelt from the Wagner Pound in Odessa. Part of the smell of 600. They vanished in 1944. When the Nazis were on the run. And you have access to more? Yes, from the same source. Interesting. Two homes to go. Yes, and all square. And you have no objection to increasing the stakes? No. Well, what do you have in mind? The bar of gold you have with you, naturally. It's worth 5,000 pounds. Oh, I'll stake the cash equivalent. But... Naturally. Straight rules of golf? But of course. One. Strict rules of golf, Goldfinger. Five minutes are almost up. The last ball will cost you stroke and distance. Ah! Uh -huh. I'm still training him as a caddy. Successfully, too. Slazinger number one. Good. If that's his original ball, I'm Arnold Palmer. It isn't. How do you know? I'm standing on it. <laughs> Why, you crafty old... <laughs> Leave it. The ball you found, sir? Yes, Slazinger seven. Let's have a little fun with Mr. Goldfinger. Like me to mark it or knock it in? Mm -hmm. Play it. This for a half. That's right. Switch him, sir? Uh huh. Then we've got him. If he doesn't notice a switch. It's your honor, sir. It's all right.
somewhere on the 18th fairway. We are playing strict rules, so I'm afraid you lose the hole and the match. Seven, isn't she? You are a clever, resourceful man, Mr. Bond. Well, thank you. Perhaps too clever. Twice our paths have crossed. Let's leave it at that. I should think our first meeting would have convinced you. Oh, I see. You're worried about me not giving you a return game. Both of us know perfectly well what we are talking about, Mr. Bond. But I see that it is necessary to remind you. Oh, John! Many people have tried to involve themselves in my affairs, unsuccessfully. Remarkable. But what does the club secretary have to say? Oh, nothing, Mr. Bond. I own the club. I assume you want the check made out to cash. That would be perfectly satisfactory. Goodbye, Mr. Bond. Oh, uh, I believe this is yours. 